Hello and welcome back to another HitFilm tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can import image sequences and then export footage as an image sequence. Okay, let's get on with this tutorial. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is import the image sequence. So next to the import button there is an arrow. If you select this arrow you can then choose image sequence then you want to find the folder where your images are stored. So mine are in the images folder. And as you can see, it now imports your image sequence as a piece of media. You can also change the frame rate. So as you can see, mine's at 29.97 frames per second. When I animated this, it was at 18 frames per second. So I want to change the frame rate from 29 to 18. So right click on your media, select properties, and then you can change the frame rate. Then hit enter. Then you can treat this like any other piece of media. So you can create a composite shot by dragging it down to here. You can right click on it, do a composite shot. You can use it in the media tab. You can add effect to it. You can do all kinds of things with it like you can with normal footage. So I'm just going to right click and select make composite shot. And then I'm just going to change the width and the height. As you can see, it's very large, but that's because it's got an incredibly large aspect ratio. So just scale it down to fit. And now it's rendered out, you can see that it plays like a normal piece of video. What I would suggest doing is creating a pre-render of your image sequences that you have just rendered out, because that will mean that then if you're using them in the editor timeline or in other composite shots, then they will play a lot faster and be a lot more responsive. So to do that, go over to images or your image sequence and you want to right click on here and create pre-render and then make pre-renders. And now, as you can see, it's now created the pre-render and it's got a little play button next to it. And if I add this into a new composite shot, you can see that it plays at normal speed how it should do. Okay, so now I'm going to be showing you how you can export your videos as image sequences inside of HitFilm. So I have got a normal piece of video that is an mp4 file so if I now right click on this I can create a new composite shot. If I rename this you can see that this is now in a new composite shot. Now if I go over to the export options I can go to add to queue contents. And now I go over to the preset and change this to PNG sequence. This will mean that it is exporting your video as a PNG sequence. And if you have an alpha channel, so if you have parts of your video that, tra that are transparent, then select PNG sequence with alpha. But as mine is just a solid clip of video, I'm going to select PNG sequence. If I go over to the output, I can select where it's going to be saved. I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to select this folder. This will export every single frame of the video into that folder. And then just hit start exporting. And if you go to the output location, you can see that it has now exported the entire video as individual images. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you found it useful. If you did then please leave a like and also subscribe to my channel for more content. I try to upload every week, however sometimes I can't manage to because of like school and that stuff. So, hope to see you when I next upload. Goodbye.